Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle helped Prince Harry envision a better life for himself outside the royal family. When Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals in early 2020, many onlookers believed it was Meghan's idea. Critics said Meghan married Harry for the royal titles and then left her royal job to pursue a more glamorous life in Hollywood. Some even claimed she was tearing Harry away from his family. While some royal followers think Meghan was a negative influence in Harry's life, a royal expert now says this is not quite the case. In fact, this expert believes Meghan actually helped Harry find a fulfilling life outside of the royal family. Prince Harry reportedly struggled with being a spare prince. Harry's older brother, Prince William, has been groomed to be king since he was young. Meanwhile, Harry became known as the spare prince. According to royal experts, being a spare can also be seen as a curse to some royals. A life as a spare has many of the same expectations and rules as that of an heir like William. Yet, a spare would not be able to ascend to the throne. An anonymous source explained. To be a spare is a horrendously difficult human position. It's hard to be royal in any case, with the lack of freedom involved. But if you're the spare, and people look up to you to preserve all family values, but you have no real role, it's immensely frustrating. According to the biography Finding Freedom, Harry had a lot of frustration with this system. He reportedly felt that the palace often prioritized William over him, which led to Harry and Meghan deciding to step down as senior royals in early 2020. Meghan Markle reportedly helped Prince Harry envision a better life for himself. Perhaps Harry's struggle in the royal family was what attracted him to Meghan. According to royal author Robert Lacey, there was a certain life Harry was expected to lead as a royal spare, though Meghan helped him see a different one. Lacey said, I mean, clearly the royal plan and expectation was that Harry would marry a nice and go and live in the country and be happy with the role of spare, just as he had been married loyally during the early years of the marriage of William and Kate. Meghan offered a more challenging and inspiring and creative destiny than being his brother's perpetual backup. Alongside Meghan, Harry has moved to Monte Cito, signed a deal with Netflix, and set up a charitable organization independent of the royal family. It seems these projects could help Harry to lead his own fulfilling life and separate himself from the role of a spare. Prince Harry revealed he wanted to lead the royal family a long time ago. Furthermore, Harry seemed to already have a desire to step away from the royal family before Meghan came along. In a 2017 interview, Harry shared, I felt I wanted out, but then decided to stay in and work out a role for myself. Harry had also been good at living life outside of the royal bubble. He spent many years in the British military and excelled at the work. Looking back on his experience, he said, being in the army was the best escape I've ever had. I felt as though I was really achieving something. While William seems to thrive as an heir to the throne, perhaps Harry is better fitted for a different kind of life. Many royal fans are no doubt interested in seeing what Harry can accomplish in the future. Another analysis. Meghan Markle's vote in the 2020 presidential election sparked backlash. Here's why. As ballots are being counted to determine whether Republican incumbent President Donald Trump or Democratic nominee Joe Biden will become the next President of the United States, one particular voter's decision to participate in the electoral process has become its own specific kind of controversy, that of Meghan Markle, whose husband happens to be a member of the British royal family. On November 3rd, 2020, a source close to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex, who is still a U.S. citizen, planned to cast her vote in the 2020 election. 
It was later confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex actually voted by mail before November 3, 2020, a method that has dramatically increased in the 2020 presidential race due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, with roughly 73% of voters opting to send in their ballots rather than going to the polls in person. But what is the significance of Meghan Markle's participation in what, for other U.S. citizens like her, is simply an exercise in civic duty? And why has it sparked a backlash? Watch on to find out. Meghan Markle's historic vote is receiving backlash. Meghan Markle's ballot makes her the first royal in history to vote in an American election. She and her husband, Prince Harry, stepped down from their roles and duties as senior officials of the British royal family in March 2020, but Meghan has retained her title as the Duchess of Sussex, and is for all intents and purposes still considered a member of the British royal by marriage. Meghan never revoked her American citizenship, and as Insider noted in January 2020, her marriage to Prince Harry did not automatically grant her British citizenship, which is the legal standard in the UK. So despite the fact that the Duchess of Sussex happens to have a British royal title, her citizenship status as an American is, by law, unrelated to that fact. The logistical realities of her status as a US citizen, which granted her the right to vote in the 2020 presidential election, hasn't deterred those critical of her decision to cast a ballot in the first place. A number of critics took to social media to chastise the Duchess of Sussex for exercising her legal right to vote. Meghan Markle knows what it's like to feel voiceless. The ensuing backlash that arose after sources confirmed Meghan Markle's decision to vote in the U.S. presidential election is fueled, in large part, by a long-held tradition that members of the British royal family abstain from involvement and or activism in general political discourse. Remarked one user on Twitter, I cannot believe Meghan Markle voted. She married Prince Harry and that means you follow royal protocol. Despite the controversy Meghan's decision to vote has incited, it seems like the Duchess of Sussex won't be backing away from political participation, a sentiment she emphasized as recently as August 2020. Meghan's statement read, I know what it's like to have a voice, and also what it's like to feel voiceless. I also know that so many men and women have put their lives on the line for us to be heard. And that opportunity, that fundamental right, is in our ability to exercise our right to vote and to make all of our voices heard. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also relayed. Part of being an active member of society is to take part in the democratic process. So encouraging people to get involved in politics is something that is important. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have participated in politics before. Meghan Markle's decision to cast her ballot by an early mail-in vote is far from the first time she's participated in the political sphere. In November 2020, both Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, have spent the months leading up to Election Day actively voicing their support for numerous causes within the realm of activism. Among these include remarks the Duchess of Sussex made in a video in the wake of the death of George Floyd in May 2020, in which she emphasized her belief that black lives matter, especially as a woman of color herself. Meghan's video, which was made as a virtual address to the graduating class of a high school based in her hometown of Los Angeles, urged viewers to participate in activism relating to social justice. The Duchess of Sussex said, We are seeing people stand in solidarity. We are seeing communities come together and to uplift. And you are going to be part of this movement. Alongside Harry, the Duchess of Sussex also spoke about the importance of voting in a special produced in conjunction with Time magazine in September 2020. Meghan stated during the program, Every four years, we're told, this is the most important election of our lifetime. 
What this one is? When we vote our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.